In ponds and rivers across China, packs of fish have been seen jumping straight out of the air, one after another. of an incoming natural disaster in China are swirling online as a strange sight appears across China. For decades, many Chinese people believe that warning signs emerge before major disasters, including odd animal behavior. In ponds and rivers across China, packs of fish have been seen jumping straight out of the air, one after another. But instead of jumping from excitement or joy, some people say these fish look scared. The odd situation was captured recently in four Chinese provinces, from the southwest to the far northeast. Fish were seen leaping out of the water and several feet high in a lake in the northeast province of Jilin. A similar scene appeared in the eastern coastal province of Zhejiang. And yet again in a lake and a river in Yunnan province. Locals say it's a rare occurrence. The abnormal behavior of the fish has sparked speculation. Some are calling it a possible sign of upcoming earthquakes. Yet Yunnan officials rejected the idea, instead saying that the phenomena was caused by the fish spawning, among other factors. But soon after, a 4.7 magnitude earthquake struck Vietnam earlier this week. Several areas in Yunnan province also felt the quake. There are currently no reports of earthquakes in other provinces, but some Chinese people say they believe the jumping fish may sense more coming. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Caroline von Petzold. If you're new here, welcome. Please hit the subscribe button and the bell and give us a like if you like this video. Okay, so disturbing, very alarming news from China. The fish and the birds are acting weird. And this is not because of an earthquake, as this news anchor said. It's because of 5G. In China right now, they are blasting 300 gigahertz electric radiation on the people in China. And this is the consequences of the fishes freaking out because their body cannot handle this sequence. And check this out. Also birds in China going gaga. Wow. Oh. This is really crazy, very alarming. Not only in China, but also in Netherlands, in Europe, everywhere where there's 5G, um, it's going to be killing animals. I just think that CV19 was a cover up for. 5G to get rolled out and now since 5G is out and you all over installed they are slowly reopening again our cities and communities and countries but now, right now 5G is in schools 5G is in public buildings 5G is all over and if people just starting bleeding out of their noses or fall to the ground they say oh it has they those people have the virus the virus is killing them but it's not the virus it's 5G very very alarming scary times here it says 5G experiments in hog the results is hundreds of dead birds falling from the trees 
and check this out when a number of dead birds spontaneously fell off the ground in a park the hawk about a week ago everyone hoped it was just a one-off incident unfortunately a large number of dead starlings uh, sparrowlings reappeared one week after the last massive death in the Hyugana Spa in Hawk. Dozens of dead starlings have reappeared. The animal clinic talks about at least 150 new cases. This brings the numbers of victims to 200, 200, 297 dead sparrowlings. Again, uh, same story. No one knows what could have been the cause of the sudden death of the birds until you see what happened last week when the birds fell dead out of the sky. And then you guys can see this guy. He's picking up bad, dead birds on, on the floor. Not just like dead starlings, but look, he's picking even up a dead pigeon on the floor. Further on, it says the new 5G column law has been added to the corner of HS. As Taylor Center roof so it is not visible on the roof the test was carried out in cooperation with the Dutch railway station how large the signal range would be and whenever where would be any harmful effects on the equipment around the station immediately after dead birds began to fall mass massively from the trees the ducks that swam on the local lake also behaved very strangely it was like they were simmers simultaneously pushing their heads underwater in an attempt to escape the radiation and some were even trying to fly away and ended up on roads or in canals. Practically exactly at the same time as the animals died, the nearby Holland Spore station tested a 5G transmission mass. In the meantime, we received new information. The dead birds we appeared to be victims of an experiment conducted in Hawk where RF radiation was a maximum of 7.4 gigahertz was tested. At this point, this is not certain whenever the test for 5G transmission have been performed again, but everything points to 5G as the most probable cause. Strange things have happened in the past, such as last year at the cr last year at the Kraus at Gower Rings Lupus thing, where 5G was tested. And here's an article where crows collapse in one corner of the pen in panic just at the time of a nearby 5G transmitter was been tested. Also in Switzerland, a whole herd of crows ended up in the abyss when 5G was tested in the area. My note, the article wrote that the herd panic to the point that it broke all levels of enclosures and the animals threw themselves into the abyss. Okay, guys, you have to share this video. These are real issues. 5G is a real issue. And if those wild birds are dying, imagine what they can do with our pets. We won't have any pets anymore in the world. We won't have any cats, dogs, birds, fish, like wildlife, the zoos. They will be all animals just like drop dead dying. And then humans too. This is really bad. This is the consequences of 5G. And I want you guys to share this video and talk about it in social media because we cannot accept 5G. 5G, it's a weapon. Our skin is sensitive. It's like little antennas, our little skin. We can just take so much, but um, I think a body can, a human body can take 30 gigahertz. Those birds died at 7.4 gigahertz. 5G, we cannot protect ourselves unless we move away from the cities and go and live off the grid somewhere in the countryside where there's no 5G radiation. But if those birds and animals are already sensitive, imagine what they can do with a human body or even kids or even the elderly or those people who are very highly high risk takers and very have have underlying conditions okay i hope you enjoy this video let me know what you think uh give us again a like and subscribe and also check out my parrot channel angelic parrots i'm gonna link it also below go there and subscribe if you want to see parrot content i'll see you next time thanks you I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.